Hey guys, Rex Flashlight Review Zone here. Live chat's on. JC, I hope you're out there. But please keep your comments clean. No trolling, no hate comments, no sexual stuff on my channel, especially cyberballing or rude comments. I gotta get the prices on this damn shit. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go get my receipt for this summer gun. Hold tight. Save me from let's see. Get back here. Oh, where's JC? But anyways, anyways, not this one. This is the oldest one of all. Uh I got these six flashlights here from Lowe's, and they were on, you might as well say clearance, okay? Uh, this one here, this one here would be uh, $25.48. Uh, so that one's not clearance, it's the regular price. All right. Uh, I gotta make sure which I'm looking at. This is an R700 Lumen one that's 1827. The next one is a 500 Lumen, that's the rechargeable, uh, 1987. I'm good, I got the right one up. This is a 350, I believe. Yeah, 350. Oh, shit. Shit. 1077. You got your. Wait a minute here. No, that's 1077. This is 1670 or 1667. 1077. Make sure I got the right one. This one's 1077, and this is a 697. I know I got a couple of them here that looks about the same, but there's difference in them. And I'll show you here in a minute. Well, what the hell is going on with my TV here? What the hell? Uh, I gotta get you back up on my TV here. There we go. <clears throat> so, the rest of these aren't rechargeable. You can't put rechargeables in them. Got six batteries in these ones. Now, the first one would be the this one here, the 700 lumen one, they are all made of metal. The aluminum, the lens on it is plastic. Hey, JC. And the only thing that doesn't specify of what kind of LED it has in it, uh, I would say it's a cob, uh, a cob, a uh, Oh, what's that LED? I'm not, I'm not a brain fart here. Uh, 
That one doesn't look centered. Maybe it is. But anyways, it's a... Uh, I have a brain fart. But anyways, the first one here is getting 700 lumens. Auto, it has an auto dimming feature. It has the FL1 standards of 700 lumens, 350 meters, and it can run eight hours. Uh, so if you don't know what 350 meters is, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three hundred and fifty meters would be one thousand hundred and forty eight feet or three point five two eight inches. It, it does have a smooth reflect reflector on them. Okay, they all have a smooth reflector. I wish I could remember that stupid LED's name. It'll probably come to me in a minute. I can't remember if they call this a tactical type of flashlight, but I'm not sure. The only one they don't call a tactical would be, I think, this one. And these here, I think. I'm not sure. But it does have three modes. I lose strobe, is that what they call it? It does have anti-roll on them. Okay, it's got, got that hex, hexagonal nut shaped tail cap on it, knurling on the body of it. It's, it, but uh, I, I thought they had a bigger one of these than a rechargeable, but I could be mistaken. On the uh, cap, it shows it takes the six triple A's. This would be the carrier port. The other one has a different type of carrier. That come, this came with Duracell, which Duracell is a good battery brand. Oh, a Cree LED, there we go. It does have a nice, stiff gold plated spring. I don't know if you guys could see it down there. Nah, nope. Let me take a flashlight and shove it down there see if you guys can't see it right there there's a spring down there that's a nice heavy duty spring okay there's kind of wish they would have used different or different way to put batteries in but i i digress on that part but this would work but you put your nipple side down then you put your cap on But I bought every stinking flashlight that I got here, except for this one. That, uh, this one I had for a while. Ghost farts. <laughs> so I don't know which one of these is the newest, which one is the older version, but this one has all black with gray or silver, as they call it, with Craftsman right across on it. So I don't. This does actually have, like I said, auto step down. So there's a high load, or high load, low strobe warning. Oops. There's your strobe. And you will hold down your button for a couple seconds. You see that? Of course, you're not going to work. Oh. There's a red light right here that comes on for your auto dimming. So if it gets close to an object, it'll dim down. I don't know if a camera could pick it up or not, but. Oh, I'm dim down, bitch. Of course, stuff is not going to work when you're... There you go. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not, but 
As she does ramp down, ramp up. That's your auto dimming feature. That's good if you want need to read something. So you won't be blasting the light back in your eye. All right. And it's a it's only a forward button type. Now this one's still a 700 lumen one. Uh, it's a lot different than one I just showed you. Still, it's all lumen as the rest of these, but it does have kind of a knurled bezel on it. it has kind of like an anti roll flute system up here on your head and on the back. Oh, I forgot, forgot the uh, water resistance is on this. I think this would be a water resistance of floor, I think. That's what this one is. Uh, this does take six double A's. Of course, it's black, red, and silver. And the anti roll really doesn't work with the beans. So if you just set it down, set it down. This does have auto dimming as well. And some of these flashlights, they do have a little piece of plastic in here. So your light won't work when you first get them. Just take that piece of plastic out. But I love the comfort handle on it. It just gives it a good contrast of different colors plus a comfortable grip as well. I forgot to show you on that one, but I'll show you show you on this one. The uh, threads are nice and greased. You got your rubber down here, your rubber O-ring. So if you ever blow your O-ring, you gotta find one to replace it. But this one does take a different type of battery holder. Again, there's six of them, six dirt cells. Okay. If you don't know which way they go, you just you just look in there. It'll show which way the positive goes and which way the negative goes. All right. You just put it in. You just put your nipple side down. I guess that's what you want to call it. And just screw your cap on. So again, and it does have the smooth reflector as well. Okay, I don't. So this is a little bit less of a throw. This is a 300 meters, okay? So, so that would be 8.333 yards, this one or 300 inch, all right? So it's a little bit less. You still got your three modes, your high, whoops, low, and your flash. I don't know why they call that a strobe, but a flash. But I got a thing I like to say to craftsmen, instead of putting these strobe features on these damn flashlights, put the high, medium, and low instead of the strobe fit action because I don't see what's the sense of having a strobe. This does also have an auto dimming. You just hold down the button for a couple seconds. As you can tell, it auto dimmed itself so you won't blind yourself off a piece of paper. And it'll ramp back, it'll ramp itself back up after a while. Uh, but there's two different Light colors on this one is more of a neutral white, and the other one's a, a cool white, which you'll see the difference when I do the light show. Did you pop your own ring? No. Now, this is the rechargeable one, okay? Now, the rechargeable one. So this is a 2548, this is a 1827. The rechargeable one would be the uh, 
$19.87. This is your charging cord. Shit. Okay, it's just a double, double ended USB. Your tab cap does not come off. It has a lithium ion battery in it. it has some somewhat good heat sinking on it. They're not that deep, but they're good. Now, when you get one of these, blow that o ring. <laughs> Make sure you screw your bezel on tight because they do come a little loose as I found with this. I don't know if it's all that way, but this thing will rattle, okay? This thing will rattle your, your, your reflector inside to move over the LED in there. So make sure you tighten, check this is tight enough so nothing will rattle, okay? You really gotta put some force into it to, you know, make it stop rattling. Plus there's a old, another thing that probably is causing it to for these companies to not be able to screw it down tight enough. There's an O-ring up under this lip. There's an O-ring down here. So your piece of plastic is getting squished between a, two rubber O-rings, okay? Uh, if you can get rid of those ones, I'm done with those. This is the box for them. Oh, I should mention the uh, item number as well on them, but I didn't think about it. And this also can charge your devices too, like, you know, these, your tablets and whatnot. But you got USB power, charges phones, tablets, and more. Lithium ion battery. Now it has an over six foot impact rating. All right, six foot waterproof IPX8, which is more water resistant, 500 lumens. You got your two meter impact resistance, that's over six foot. 375 meters of throw. That would be 1,230 feet. The candela rate on a summer gun is 34,813 candela, three hours on high and nine and a half on low. Okay. Now they do call this one tactical. Shit. I might as well give you the item number two. I forgot to do it on the first one. Uh, so the number on this thing would be CMF or CMXL FB 500P. It's Charlie, Melvin, X ray, Lumen, fucking bitch. 500 pussy. Okay. Right there, if you guys could read that. All right. Before I go any further, I'll give you the other ones. The first one here is your CMX LFA F9. Charlie Melvin X-Ray Lumen fucking ass faggot nine. All right, I'm just using those names for just a hell of it. So again, it's CMXL FA F9, and for this 700 lumen is Charlie Melvin X Ray Lumen Fag Six Five Two Eight Zero. Re reason why I say fag because it actually says. Fag in the middle of the damn item number. So no hate, please. I'm just reading it off. Now back to now back to this one. Huh. <laughs>
You like it deep, big boy. <laughs> yeah. So, again, the fit and finish on these flashlights are decent. They're all freaking metal. It's a tail cap clicky type. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the other ones that say that, I just used the names. To get to your charging port, you just unscrew your piece right here. There is a rubber O-ring right there where my finger is. Okay. To keep it keep the moisture and crap out of it. There's your charging port. And that's where you would charge your devices as well. Okay. On this side is your indicator light, your charging indicator light. It'll blink red slowly till it gets enough charge, it'll turn blue blinking and fully charge will be solid blue. Okay. Now to turn this on, it'll actually show a blue light. Okay, to, for your power bank. And just make sure you just turn it off. You're not using it, just screw the cap right back over it. Okay, this is 500 lumens. Make sure it's tight, squish your rubbers. So this is 500 lumens. Make sure I'm on high here. Yeah, there's your high mode, as you can tell. Okay. Whoops. Low mode. In your funky looking strobe, I don't think that's a strobe, but it's weird looking. Again, I wish I would keep the strobe out of the stinking flashlights because they're, they're not worth a darn. They should just keep low, medium, high. So there's your rechargeable. That's the only rechargeable I've seen. I thought I seen a thousand lumen one up there once before, but I didn't see it. Now this is a 350. This would be your 1667. Okay. He's talking about the O-ring people. Look out, he's going to get ready to blow. <laughs> so. There we go. So uh, this one here is 350 lumens. Of course, 200 meters or 656 feet. Six hour run time. Uh, again, you got your low, high, and flash. These do all come with your batteries. This comes with uh, three double A's, which these are energizers instead of being uh, Duracell, but energizers are pretty good. Now, you don't know, this is the uh, little holder it'll come with, okay? If you don't know how which way it goes, it's even marked on the holder itself on the ass end and the top part, too. So, you can just take a look at it to tell which way they go. Your button side goes down. There's the rubber. I don't find it. Nice rubber, nice grease threads. Shit sticking to me. Again, your LED in there, your Cree LED. The head does have a little knurling on it. You got a red piece of rubber right here as well. They got the. Uh, anti-roll feature up here but it don't work the head's too big on it for it to keep it rolling around so you're not gonna keep this from rolling all right your rubber tail switch again okay there's your high low 
in your strobes action, okay? Your part, or I call it the party mode. Oh, you're nuts. Uh, again, you got your Craftsman ink screened on the side of your flashlight. Uh, but the only problem with these flash or the only problem with flashlight companies today, the, these are this will be your most common flashlight color you'll see. It's black. I wish they would come out with more colors. They don't. Which way does your ass go over it? But uh, if you want something that has different colors, you might, you might as well go with something like uh, old light or something like that. But I digress on that. Fuck me. Fucker. I got wet, JC. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the ones that look both the same, you're, what was it? The ones that looks about the same, the 1077 and the 670, uh, Sorry, 697 and 16 or 1077. This would be your 1077. This would be your 667. All right. They look pretty similar. There's a few differences on them. I don't know if I have the. Oh, that's the wrong one. Now, this one. The other one, they don't go by lumens. It's just, it's under a different name. So this one, these are your triple A's. This is one of them that you need to take your uh, plastic piece out of it. This is a zoomable. It does have your Cree LED in there. I don't know if they call this tactical or not, but it kind of looks a little tackle ish But you zoom it. You don't twist. You pout. That's what she said. And you push in. That's also what she said. It's gray or silver in that case. Black plus your red oh, rubber over mode craftsman. Okay. You got your knurling on up there by your head. You got a couple of knurling back here on your tail switch cap too. What happened to make the soda horny? Oh, that that was the shit always blows up. Now, right here's your holder for your triple A's. You get th three of them with it. All right, as it kind of looks like a little tiny pen. Your button goes down. There's your O-ring. Whoops, there's your O-ring and your nice, decent threads on there. Tree 50 lumens. 170 meters and three hours of run time. So there's her high mode, low mode, and your flash, your poor man's uh, strobe. There's your, you know, zoom out feature, okay? So just remember, you pull out and pull in. I know she said that in both of them. So the, here's the other one that looks about like it, all right, in a way. There's a little bit different features. Now, this one has the uh, roll. Uh, keep it from rolling right there. 
back here on the head instead of being on the bezel itself. <laughs> All right, this does have knurling as well on the tail cap, but a different type of button. Now this is where the difference is, is in the head of it, but I'll show you in a minute. Plus you got this about the same stinking carrier in it, just doesn't have a very bit much of a pronounced button. All right. The head has a nice heavy duty spring. It's heavy duty. All the uh, solders in there look pretty nice in there. They're not messy, they're clean. That's a big ass spring too. There's even uh, rubber on this end too to keep the water and crap out of it. Now if I could screw, that'd be a different story. Now the head of this, now the head on this is a lot different. Look, there's nine LEDs in there. All right. Now this is this is the one that does the different type of you know lines. This, this takes a different type of light uh, spectrum, okay? It's a UV light, all right? Now, this is the cheapest one of all of them. This is that $6.76 or 676 or 667 or whatever the hell it is, okay? See? It's good. It's good for checking out your bed, uh, hotel rooms, checking for counterfeit shit, blood stains, whatever you want to look for. Okay. So there's those two. They do look the same. So don't get them mixed up. Now this is the oldest one I have. Okay. They still do have one of these. Or they still have these over there at. Lowe's, these were originally 40 or $50 when they were brand new. Where's the clothes Dr. Pepper hit it? <laughs> uh, this is not a tactical, all right? But it has the same type of knurled bezel on it as this, okay? To kind of like mother and father there. Uh, does have a magnet at the end. Does take a three triple A's. Again, the same type of carrier. Has a nice heavy duty spring at the bottom. There's no tail clicky on this. It's a forward clicky. Right here. This is 250 lumens, okay? Did come with this belt clip as well, or pocket clip, excuse me. You can rotate it, take it off, whatever you wanna do with it, okay? But the feature of this one, you could actually rotate its head. So you could have a 90 degree angle light. So you could like stick it on your pocket, work hands-free with it, and, or stick it up, you know, on metal, or you could use it as a straight on flashlight. Now I see the comments. So, and this does also have the smooth reflector in it as well, but it's cut, it's a type of smooth reflector as a disc, kind of a disco ball. All right. So, so that's the seven flashlights you could get lows. Uh. 
a flashlight is good for looking for jizz. Yeah. Oh, another thing I forgot to tell you this too. Instead of being just a Cree high low mode, okay? It also has the flood, the flood light too. That's the Cobb LED that's inside of there. Okay, so you got two different type of LEDs, jizz. So let me show you, it is magnetic here. There. It's quite a strong magnet. So let me. If anyone there move Rick to, huh? Now you'll see the different colors in the uh, other two flashlights here. Oh, fuck me. Now, I got the 700 lights here in my hand. There's your first 700, that's your cool white, that's your neutral white, one on the, what the hell happened? Oh, my camera's waking up because of the light, uh, flashlights. That's your neutral white, more of your warm light. That's your cool white there, okay. There's your lows on both of them. There's your stroke, okay, on both of them. I know I'm wigging out my camera. Here's the 500 lumen one. I think I want 500. Yep, okay. Fucker, there's your low. In your party mode is what I call it. I can't I can't see the comments from way back here. Well, uh, Manga sticks to these nuts, Mr. Brian D's nuts fluga. It's a nerd ghost tag. No, it's, it's my flashlights wigging wigging the cameras out. Uh This would be the 350, the bigger one. Okay, your high, low, party mode, as I call it, strobe. Oh, that one did come with a stupid lanyard, but I don't use lanyards. I think I saw dark shadow people orbs when the Lights flashing. But this is the other 350s here. Okay, there's your flood. Jesus Christ, it's wigging out my goddamn camera. Low flood. Your flash. I don't know why they always want to go with these stinking squares, but there's your high, low, and your flash. Zoomed in, or zoomed out for your spot. There's your UV one. I don't know how well you guys can see UV on here, but well, it looks like you can. But there's your UV. Light. And here's the 250. That's your high, low, and your flood. There's no strobe on this thing. So. Uh, 
Yes. All the craftsman flashlights. Like at the beginning of this video, I did say they did or have or still or don't have any more cobalt flashlights. I don't know how good those things are, but what the hell I think he needs to try to take his lady Brian saw it too. But anyways. As far as I can tell, I would recommend this, these uh, flashlights if anybody's looking for, you know, cheaper flashlights instead of buying old pickles, or old pickles, old lights, phoenixes, uh, ace beans, and stuff like that. You could go get one of these at your local Lowe's, okay? But the only problem is, is the... Lowe's really don't have much of a flashlight selection. Uh, uh, I know Home Depot has a better light flashlight selection than Lowe's do, but we don't have one nearby. <laughs> so... I would recommend them if you are looking for an affordable way of getting flashlights. But with this one, make sure your bezel is nice and tight so you won't be rattling around. So that's it. I already did my light show for you guys. Oh, he has a tic tac. So. So, again, thanks for coming to Rick's Flashlight Review Zone. If you, if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up for me, please. I know I had a brain fart there. And I can't remember if I did the... Before I do that, I think I forgot to give you the uh, item number on these. So your UV item number is Charlie, excuse me, Charlie Melvin X-Ray Lumen. <laughs> Fat ass effer sex, okay? That's C M X L F A F six. The uh, this one would be C M X L F A F five. That's Charlie Melvin X Ray Lumens Fat Ass Effer. Five, okay. Now this one right here, your three fifty CMXL <laughs> FAG six five two eight one. It's Charlie Melvin X Ray Lumen Fag six five two eight one. So, that's the item numbers on those as well. So, that's it guys. Thanks for showing up to Rick's Flashlight Review Zone. <laughs> Please give this video a like. Subscribe to my channels. This one and the GPPI. So, uh, subscribe if if you already if you haven't already done so and get my tongue twisted. 
uh, select that notification bell and select all for me, please, for all future videos and notifications. And I guess I could raise that up more. The fuck was that? Sometimes those notification bells don't work. If they don't work, just click on the video I'm doing at the moment. It'll bring you right to me. And always leave a comment below. Please no hate comments. Uh, Cyberbullying, bullying, sexual crap on my channel. Uh, no rude remarks or anything like that. Because I only give you warnings and or you're off. Okay, so... I'll catch you on the flip side and shine on out there. I'm out.